Welcome back to the Comedy Store Doorcast. Uh, I'm Luke Schwartz. I'm the host, and we have a really good crew today. Uh, to my right, across the table, we'll go counterclockwise. Matt Lockwood, hello, welcome back. Matt Daddy Lockwood, bitch. Sure. I'm a ticking time bomb. Okay, and we're doing catchphrases I'm gonna, today. I'm going to say the it. N-word. <laughs> that's, your cra- that's your catchphrase. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to say the N-word. <clears throat> Uh, Sao Trujillo. Hey, how's it going? I'm not going to say the N word, but I'm going to watch Matt do it. (laughs) Okay. And uh, Jesse Johnson to my left. Hi. No comment on the N word. Uh, Jesse Johnson, like Jesse Smollett. (laughs) You're inching closer. (laughs) That's really funny. Can we soundbite that? I can't. We'll we'll soundbite it for promotion. Thank you. And to my right is... is yes, <laughs> hi, everybody. I got so excited that everyone was here that I... You know, just Luke Schwartz. It's just Luke Schwartz. Our um, host. For we, the- uh, as door guys, we get a lot of our uh, po- walking around money from uh, now tips in the buckets, I would say. And I'm giving out shout outs to people who tipped uh, yesterday. I've given them. Ooh. We're doing... Um, <laughs> this is you, what we've you come and to? tip and mention the door cast to the door guy, they will write it down. And text it to me or whatever. Depends will, on the door guy. And I will shout out your handle or just your name if that's what you want. It just became my birthday. I just found out about this. Yeah. This and, is new uh, to me. So, I mean, and the more you tip, the bigger the shout out you get. So, like the uh, louder or? The bigger. Okay. The I, better. I don't understand exactly. Well, wait for the first example. <laughs> okay. Is this uh, the first time you're doing this? Yes. <clears throat> I like it. Yeah. I think it's uh, it's engagement. Real really. quick. You become before horse. you do that. Yes. Let's Can go. I do a shout out? Thurster. Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> that's so funny. I was going to say we're sponsored by Thurster. That's so funny. Here at the comedy store, we love Thurster. Yes, uh, we, the cheapest water you can find. Uh, we did a test on it. We okay. have test kits for our pure, our water purifier at home. Okay. We did it on this. Pretty good. 0.0. That's good, right? Clean water, baby. Clean water. These Very are good. Thursters, We thought it'd be right? like 100. This, this is, is a Thurster. Is this boil LA water? tap, or what are they doing? Because I hardly know. <laughs> Maybe, actually. Yeah. Uh, so this week we got a twenty dollar tip from at the Nicole Villani, Ooh, who wow. came to I believe the main room show and was really nice and dropped a twenty. In Been there. there, fuck that. Okay. Oh, you know Nicole? Yeah, we used to date in high school and middle school. Oh, all through. I was in high school. She was in middle school. Mm-hmm. Okay. You were in high school. She was in middle school. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also got ten bucks from a <laughs> dude uh, at Cheese Party Five Thousand. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, right. And he was like, well, I used to sell cheese. And I was like, okay, well. No, him. Okay. Fuck that. That hey. is. Hey. All nice. right. It is almost International Women's Day. Way to go. Mm-hmm. Yesterday. And yesterday. And then also uh, some. Where women belong. Who yesterday. I, who I think <laughs> is from De- uh, Denmark. So I think he said he was from Denmark. <laughs> Willem, and you're going to love this. Willem Gayskins. Gayskins. G E Y S K I N S. Shout out to him. You got Joe. You're, <laughs> Nothing. You're, okay. Nah, I'm not gonna even. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I thought uh, you were. I was waiting on it. I was like, whoever tips at the door and mentions the door cast, the door guy will write down your name or your handle and text it to me, and you will get a shout out because you're basically sponsoring us to eat lunch sometimes. So there's that. Um, I don't kiss and tell, Jetski. I had a bunch of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I uh, I worked a bunch this week. Did everyone work a bunch this week? Yes. No. No. How, why didn't you work a bunch? I was gone. Okay. Oh, yeah. You were in uh, OOT, the capital, as they Texas. say. Yeah, Cap City. Yeah, Cap City of Texas. Yes. Out of town. Yep. Very good. Well, uh, how are all our former door guys who moved? They mm-hmm. seem to be doing great. They're in better spirits than the people that are currently here. <laughs> they enjoy their lives way more. Wait a minute. But don't you think they did that here before? No. They weren't happier on average? No, it's think? different down there. It's more exciting. The comedy. Down there. The comedy's better. The crowds are better. Are they north of us? They're, I, In my head, Texas south, is south. south yeah, but I they're think. like, I bet they're, I feel like they're even. They are s- something. They're definitely east. They are six to eight hours from the border of Mexico. So we are close. You said it right. You're right. Yeah, you said it right. But I like it. I appreciate that. I got you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> now, so do you think that, because I know they want you to move there. Yes. Um, do you think that they pretended to be really happy while you were there? Well, here's the thing. Part of uh, my presence brings happiness. Exactly. Uh-huh. Um, but also I Just met... Just look at your hat. I, Says it all. great. Also, I met people that didn't know me, that don't care if I move there. And, and they weren't... They seem to be happy. Hired? Not that I know of. Okay. You're saying there's a conspiracy to get Matt Lockwood moved to Austin? There I is. Didn't say there currently anything. is. I'm being, rec- I'm being recruited. Is it a conspiracy if it's out in the open? Yes, 9-11 was out in the open. 
No, it just happened outside. <laughs> I like there's being a, video of it. I like being a rookie I, cop. I know. <laughs> yeah. There's a new video here. A new one? Of the second, t- of the second plane. Out. Genuinely, just, just got dropped. released this just year <laughs> of the second plane hitting the tower. Wow. Time Did you trust. ever watch those? Tragic. Mm, I used to. 2008. I was a big conspiracy theorist. I don't even watch it for the conspiracy. Just watch the videos of the... the just for you fun? You can see the planes hitting the tower. Not for fun. <laughs> Why <laughs> would you like, watch them? How autistic it's a part, of you. That's like the first big memory of our of our culture, of our society. True. A new millennium. You don't got to do it on repeat, though. Yeah, but it's you know visit your roots. <laughs> You're a rewatcher. You like you go you rewatch series in 9/11 all the time. Yeah, yeah. You not watch, series. You, you so rewatch The Office and like you'll yeah. Watch, yeah, and I fall asleep either watching The Office or 9/11. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Truly, never forget that way, huh? Yeah. There's a video of like college kids. Okay. Oh, okay. For <laughs> uh, Austin, Texas, home of the first school shooting. Although I don't know if it counts. Like I didn't go to school there, but it's school shot, of, school of the first. He shot students. Shooting. Oh, okay. And at Watchtower, remember that he had a brain tumor. And that's what made him shoot kids. Wacky. No, I thought they say wake up, Texas. I say wacky, Texas. I, I like how we redirected, and you still got that one. <laughs> this is the Dorkast. We talk about all things Austin, Texas. Sometimes. Um, this is my third podcast today. No, oh, oh, no, it's not. Yep, and I went to therapy. So kind of fourth. Wow. Fourth podcast. <laughs> you <laughs> you should record talking. all your therapy sessions. A lot of talk. You've been talking all day. You still yeah. you still got we had a nice game of catch of football. Yeah, out great in the game of catch. Lot. Pretty good. Deflate gate though. We were able to really palm it with one hand. That is was this good. good for the butt? Talking about how flat the football was that we threw around? There were some great throws. I, throws I, I've never sorry, seen. Sorry, I'll, I'll redirect to nine eleven. Are there more like, are there more shout outs? <laughs> uh no more shout outs. No, cheese have, party five thousand was the last one? Yeah. And then uh and then William Gaskins. Oh yeah, of yeah. Course. Sorry. Shh. Yeah, uh, I saw Letterman this week here. Yes. Yeah, he was. Were any of you working that day? Mm-hmm. It was. Everyone. Was, I was in Austin. Everyone was so uncool about. It. No one was like calm about it. People like Guam let him around. Was like, guys, I have a special guest, and like in earshot or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, hey, and. Uh, Quincy goes, whoa, is that Mr. Letterman? <laughs> to his face. And yeah. he's like, yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> it's like, Does he have a yeah. beard? Yeah, but he had a mask over a beard. But like, uh, he still wears a mask? Yeah, I know he does because Brandon also posted a picture with him. What? Uh, they could ev- also leave him alone. Everyone was so uncool about That's it. That's also it not. It really <laughs> sucked to see. It was really not a great moment for him. He didn't go up. He just came to. He came. He shot the shit he with He loves Marin Tammy Joe. Yeah, he was there for a Tammy Joe show. First uh, outside promoted show I've worked besides Crack 'em Up since we've been back. Yeah, first one in the big rooms. Yeah. I, were, How you was were, it? Oh, God. It was great. It was, it was uh, a different change. It was a change of pace. <laughs> well said. Yeah. Ba- sold out? Barely said. Uh, Close? Yeah, no, sold out. Good for her. Yeah. She really deserves it. Okay. Josh Adam Myers had great shows. The oh yeah, Comedy Jam and Shimmy Shimmy Ya were really great. I were I didn't work the Death Jam Comedy was, Jam. Def, no, Death no, that's different. That would be cool too, though. Def that's Jam on, Comedy that's on Jam. Thursday nights. The Goddamn Comedy Jam. Mm. Yeah, Def Gosh Jam. Darm Comedy Jarm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> on TV, you can't say damn on TV. I don't think. Oh. Or God. You can say God. You just probably can't follow it with damn. Mm, I'm not sure. You say God darn? You can't say God darn. On TV? I think so. Y- yeah. You can't say gay in school anymore. <laughs> you guys hear that? <laughs> in Florida, well, yeah. That's gay. That's all we said in high school. Yeah. Um, no, so- there's a new bill they passed in either Florida or Texas, but what's the fucking difference? It, it, they say if- It's the, all a place you'll probably move to if soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a place I belong. <laughs> Yeah. If, uh, Miami vibes. If sure. there's a trans kid, they yeah. have to report it to <laughs> oh my God. child uh, Protective social ser- services. Yeah, and they, get, and they arrest the parents and the, and the doctor <laughs> who's given the, met, the yeah. yeah. No, you're Wait, kidding. Wait, where is this? This is, One uh, of those states. This is like two weeks of news already from Texas. Texas, yes. Yeah. My home. Mm, you're f- yeah, sure. <sighs> Maybe not the Austin part, but the outskirts of that will probably I mean, be everyone says heavy. Austin's very liberal and- for Texas, maybe, but it is still very much Texas. Yeah, yeah. I think it's gotten a white little, people a little redder since. Yeah. Any since... women out there? <laughs> huh? Is there like women out there? Hell like, yeah, they the... wear jean shorts and cowboy boots. In every the... single one in the comedy scene. More than, yeah, more than couple. one. <laughs> <laughs> you were gonna more than more none. Than one, man. More than none. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? It is. It, yeah. 
I mean, I came up in San Diego where there's literally no women. So I was going to say more than here, but then I remember that we're not in San Diego anymore. Oh, gotcha. Uh-huh. Toto. <laughs> Is that in Spanish? So for everything? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're not in San Diego anymore. Tap those red Jordans right now to go back to San Diego. Yes. <laughs> Saul's out of town too. Yeah, that was. I was at the Punchline in San Francisco. That was a lot of fun. With who? Uh, Mikey Winfield. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He crushed every night. It was great nights. Now, just so the listener knows, it is Mike E. Yeah, Winfield. The the his middle initial is E. Period. Yes. Yeah. Not Mikey. No. Mike E. Yeah. So Winfield. you call if you see him, call him Mike. Mike. That's Mike E. Yeah. Mike E. Mike E. Well, no, Mike E. Winfield. He's not Mike E. Is he a lawyer? You guys are making him promoting him like a lawyer. What's going on like a detective agency? A lawyer's Daniel detective Lawyer. agency. That's us. Lockwood and Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the lawyer, you think? <laughs> I always wanted to be a detective, but uh, you have to be a cop first. Yeah. What, what would Pri- make you think the opposite? I just thought you could be a detective. I don't want to solve crime. I don't want to do. I don't want to pull people could, over and Encyclopedia Brown shoot unarmed black people. I want to. You could solve just crimes. Do it. Batman yeah, does it. You could just do it. Yeah, you could be a. Well, PI. he's rich. Would you ever be a PI? A pussy investigator. Ah, no. <laughs> you big silly. Get <laughs> out of here. Never heard that. Before. You know it's not. That. No, I want to be a, like a. Did you say you weren't going to do any bits? That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> only ever. These aren't bits. I think oh, okay, he's serious. This is real. He thinks this is real. Um. Wouldn't it be ribs? Um. No, I wouldn't. That's a made-up job that people make up for themselves. Or do you just say that yeah. because you're doing it now and you don't? Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, so you worked goddamn comedy jams. OPPI. You worked. Uh, you worked a lot last night. Old. <laughs> I was just gonna move on. You worked a lot last Pussy night. Inspector. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's right. <laughs> you want to get? How'd the lot go, Jesse? You enjoyed it a lot. You had a big smile on your face the whole night. No, I didn't, and you know that. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> I don't lo- I like. Well, she I- seems traumatized. Give her time. She was. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. Re- I gotta think. She's about bleeding this. from her eyes. I gotta. Uh, that's my new look. Um. Anyway, I sometimes love the lot, but mm-hmm. then there's this one time uh, about ten o'clock where it just sucks. Um. It's a lot of hanging out, and you get to talk to people, and you don't have to deal with customers. No offense. You're but- the POC for when the comics arrive. Yeah, the pussy on <laughs> contact. contact. Very good. Nice. <laughs> Took it, ran with it. Yeah. Spiked it in the end zone. Touchdown. Great. Um, but it's really fun. But then around 10 o'clock, it's like both shows are kind of, some shows are ending, some shows are starting. Everybody's hanging out in the parking lot. There's 500 cars. And I, yeah, I, last night I was like, I don't think I could do this by myself. But everybody's so encouraging. Everybody uh, could tell I was kind of stressed. <laughs> and they're like, you can do it. Like, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, and then uh, David Arnold had this really cool car. And I couldn't figure out how to open the doors. It's a Tesla. It's called a Tesla. It's a Tesla. And he's okay. like, you just double drop. double tap it. I know. Maybe. It's I don't like know a cool color, should... too. It's different, yeah. right? It's like brown something. Yeah, it's like a dark maroon. Yeah, it's kind of sick. Cool. Yeah. But it took me an hour to figure out that the key was the shape of the car so to, um, it's like i i opened the hood because i didn't know where to click <laughs> but like if you look oh, at the ignition the key, you mean the or whole the, the whole key is like a key fob but it's in the shape of a car and so you press the like the top but if you press the hood of the key uh-huh. it opens the hood but i didn't know it was shaped as the car and mm. but he was so cool he's like no Christ. no look the key is the car. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god! It's not your fault. You, you got to work for NASA just to work the fucking lot. Yeah, that's not on you. <laughs> I don't know. Now, where, where does a guy like David E. Arnold get his money from? You know, you're thinking of Mikey Winfield. Uh, David, <laughs> David, David A. Arnold. David A. Yeah. Arnold. And yes. it's not David A. It's He's David A. A. Yeah, not David A. Why not just go by he, David Arnold? There's probably someone named that. Yeah, IMDb, things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> to, no, was, to be you. <laughs> to be in a guild, you have to have a separate name than somebody else in the guild. I'm screwed. Michael B. Jordan. Mm-hmm. Michael is Jordan. I don't think there's anyone named Jetski Johnson. Yeah, that's why I changed it. Smart. Yeah. There's like 500 Jesse Johnsons. Yeah, yeah. If I if I wanted to join a guild, I could not be Matt Lockwood. Oh Matt wow, Daddy Lockwood. Matt E. Winfield. <laughs> 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 there's a there's a couple Luke Schwartz's. There's a famous Luke Schwartz poker player. You didn't say. Yeah. In I, well, Hollywood? You well, kind of well, look like him, too, a little bit. Wow, interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know the poker player? I was a gambling addict, the crippling gambling addict. Oh. So, yeah. Wow. Tragic. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it was quite tragic. I'm here. <laughs> Just say yes. Just say you watch well, poker. It's good no. To, good to see you on the other side. Yeah, you really threw yeah. Yeah, Fourth threw, wall day, your right? anonymousness <laughs> out the window. An- anonymity, rather. <laughs> um, yeah, and there's a like a punk guy who I think lives in Austin. His name is Luke Schwartz. Yes, good friends. You know him now? Grew up with him. Yeah. <laughs> Real punk guy. Ugh. Got their hair. <laughs> The real attitude. Okay, you know what a punk is. Yeah, I was gonna say. You, just, <laughs> thank you, you should start a detective agency, man. You're gonna <laughs> fucking roll. You're gonna draw that on a mystery. piece of paper. Give me a mystery. I'll solve it right in front of you. Nine Eleven. Dick Cheney. Okay. Yeah. Actually, that's right. That's pretty good. See, you I watch a lot it. of videos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember when they when the plane was? They say it crashed in the field. I believe it was shot down. Okay. Do you believe uh-huh. by the United States military? Okay. Do you? Remember how they were like some guy called. <laughs> some, I, I don't. Uh, yeah. Okay. Some guy called his wife. Christian guy. They say he called his wife and said, honey, we're going to take these terrorists down. They're not going to beat us. Let's roll. And then he hangs up. Let's and then, roll. Let's roll was like a catchphrase for Christians in America following 9 11. There's a book written about it. I don't think that guy ever called his wife. That's just my conspiracy uh-huh. theory. Oh, Maddie Flat Earth over here. Were they huh? just trying to make Christians <laughs> cool? And about Flat Earth, <laughs> <laughs> I will say. Uh, Let, hey, you have the floor. Go, go ahead, go. my friend. Yeah, let's. See. Do I believe the Earth is flat? No, I believe it is round. I believe it is spherical. That being said, I do not know, and I will not chastise anyone for believing it's flat. I think that's very accepting of you. I am not smarter than anyone else, nor is anyone smarter than me. <laughs> that's, that's really funny. <laughs> we believe what we're told, and we are we are told to believe what we are read. Told. Yeah, read. Who's we? The society. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's we and they. <laughs> and they are trying to keep us down. No, yeah, they are. Just, uh, you know, be a free thinker. You don't know anything. Okay. And when you know that you I know nothing. The buzzwords. When good. you know you know nothing, that's yeah. when you know everything. What are you, Peter Jordanson? This is great. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah, it's a back These oh, are Jordan all the Peterson. things yeah. we think about while on the clock at the door. It's a comedy store. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, so. Mm. Um, I, uh, speaking of the door and just trying to get back on track for a little before we go off into another thing, <laughs> and that will be fine. Um, Do a sound of a door opening. Danny uh, <laughs> Lucas, the uh, the sound guy here, great sound guy, has a show coming Second up. Second best on... sound guy here. Sa- definitely. <laughs> uh, that's really funny. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Now he's going to light me early. <laughs> uh, he has a show that he is playing in a band called The Zeros, and it's at the Whiskey on March 18th. And if there are any tickets left, you should check out that. I just wanted to say that. Okay. Um, That's good. Can I get something real quick? Hey, go. Uh, yeah. Hey, go ahead. When does this come out? March 16th at the Rainbow Bar and Grill, 8 o'clock. Come to Top Floor Comedy. Top floor comedy yes. at the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Yes. What an odd place to plug your show. <laughs> I hope this. I hope this comes out March seventeenth. <laughs> St. Patrick's. It probably will come out later than that. <laughs> March sixteenth is when I have the alcohol training for recognizing oh, someone shit. who's inebriated. You got to sign up for one too. of those. Oh shit! Just sign up or for what? it. Or what? You're fired. You're fired. So yeah. you moved to Austin. So that you would moved be to your Austin. move. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> Look, he's daring. He's da- <laughs> any manager watching fire this. Me. Fire me. Fire me. I dare you. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> You're angling for it. That's why they'll never do it. <laughs> You're too valuable. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Top notch drug guy. Yeah. 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 I, Feel free to whatever. So, oh. what do you guys think about Building Seven? Okay, great. Tower Seven. <laughs> building Seven. Right, what are you, building. fucking noob? <laughs> a little bit, know. yeah. We, we were just, she was just trying to connect with you, man. <sighs> I don't. I'm not a fan of 9/11. Just so we are clear. I just You're watch a fanatic. The, I watch the video sometimes. I mean, it was important. How scary though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like genuinely, dirt. How terrifying! Yeah. But we don't a know. Bit, a I, little bit of dirt. I was in fifth grade when it happened. That's yeah. so young. Fifth grade to experience that. Wait, we're the same age, I think. Okay, or I'm maybe 31. You're, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're the same age. I. But I was in sixth grade. Nine eleven. So uh, maybe I'm smarter than you. <laughs> I was old for my grade. I was young for my grade. Yeah, so maybe I'm smarter than you. That doesn't make any my, sense. He, you get it. <laughs> no, older kids for the great. Haven't you ever read Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell? <laughs> okay, sorry. A very uh, smart book. <laughs> <laughs> One that a detective would definitely read. <laughs> Let's leave uh, clues around the store so, for Matt. So, so I, dude, honestly, oh, that would be a great birthday. Me and Luke talked about writing a Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia Brown, Brown spec. Like, like, yeah. 
Because we both love. Like you guys grit, read Encyclopedia Brown? The gritty CW. The greatest movie. kid detective of all time? Yeah, no. Fucking rips. I don't even know what that is. No, it's these books you read, and it's Encyclopedia Brown's yeah. a kid detective. He solves crimes around his neighborhood, but the you, first, the reader, yeah. solved the crime first. Ooh, yeah. I like that. 12 pages Dude, a story, fudge, something like that. Incredible. There are three stories in a book, and the book had the answers in the back. It's yeah. awesome. So maybe this was, was like in grade book. school? What was yeah. it? Probably. Uh, middle some, school, some probably. Book fairs. Yeah, grade could, school. It did take some. Maybe I'm smart. There we go. <laughs> it did take some um, wit. Oh, They yeah. weren't easy. I'll say that. Wit and guile, I would say. I don't know what that means, but I believe you. Okay, great. I don't either. Oh. G-U-I-L-E? Yeah. Oh, I would have That should be better, a wordle. Somehow you're better than at quirtle than I am. I don't know what words mean by no words. I love words. Yeah. Wait, what's the point of knowing you're a word a without knowing what it Can means? I, well, you don't need to know what something means to talk. <laughs> what the fuck? That's true. He's you been know, all buzzwords right. this correct. whole thing. Yeah, the whole time. Yeah. He's just saying wild shit. Can I get something in real quick? My, uh, I, I don't know if I can stop <laughs> you. <laughs> I didn't get something out. This is something I just. This is something I realize that's different. Something in. This is. <laughs> this is something I realize that's different from me from other people. When. You, <laughs> yeah. It could be anything. When you say. When you say a word. Say you say the word elephant to me. Uh-huh. If I say elephant to you, you picture an elephant. I do now. Yeah. I picture also how it's spelled. In my head, all I see is the word. I see... uh, What if I said big gray elephant? I see big gray elephant. So every time somebody says a word, it just comes at you like that? I see every... My imagination is just words. Like the written word. Yes. That's for... Yeah. I have have that somewhat, but not totally. flip-flop. I didn't have it until you said something. What about... Because I always wanted to draw. I imagine a hyphen when you say flip-flop, for sure. Hmm. Just I a see, hyphen or a I box? see the <laughs> What do you Just uh, one uh, big hyphen. Uh. I always wanted to draw, but I can never picture stuff I want to draw. I always just end up writing. Oh, what about so when I you draw, listen I to draw music? words. Because you listen to a lot of music. Yeah, that's like, um, that's very visual. <laughs> okay, okay. So well, you got there. You, you got it in you. <laughs> that's like shapes and yeah. vibes. Just you, can, visual you can watch this on YouTube. That's why they're recording. Apparently, Marvin's watched this. Marvin's Marvin. a, uh, the security guard. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. yeah, fashion Sh- shout designer. Shout out to Marvin. Yeah. Is he a fashion designer? He's a fashion designer. Okay, talk about this, please. He's been all over the world, like doing runways. You guys didn't know that? What do you mean doing runways? Like his, his fashion line has been shown in runways. So like when we get booked on a show, we do our, you know, in a showcase, but in a fashion show, it's like different designers and the models go out on the runway. So um, he's like you, a wait. friends and family for... Fashion. I think he just screen prints. I don't think he. <laughs> no, he so. I was gonna too. say, does like does the has... model come out in, like a supreme sweater? Is it like, street going on wear? While doing no, a his his. He like, designs dresses. His, style? his in, in, like his inspiration, uh, like his main style that he showed me is like this modern day Renaissance look that he actually sews. He's gonna designs. be very mad at you for saying this. Why? 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 He just told kidding. me. He's kidding. <laughs> he wasn't like, don't tell anyone. But don't like, tell. He had a secret. <laughs> He's uh, a fashion I'm gonna, designer. Yeah, I'm going to find out that Instagram and and, and, sh- and share it here. I would love to see it. Yeah. But we he, all call he seems him, very talented. Yeah, we all call him Loki Marv because he's like very quiet, but he's clutch. <laughs> Is it because he's Loki? Yeah, well, maybe. I don't know what came first. The um, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but he's clutch. Like anytime you need help, he's like there. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. He's a G. Yeah. Yes. Uh, my mom came to the store last weekend. Oh yeah, I, we performed for her. Yes, she came to the patio. She said, "Hey, I'm Matt Lockwood's mom." And Marvin said, "Who's that?" <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah, he did. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, yeah, just clutch. Well, he's designing dresses <laughs> in his head. All right, so. Yeah, he's busy. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, the manager, and I were pretty friendly with each other. And then I was like, "Hey, I need your number for like work stuff and everything else." And I was like. Yeah, what's your name? And he was like, "I'm Ryan. You're you're what again? What's your name again?" I was like, "I've after like a week and a half of interacting yeah. of like very positive interactions. Yeah. It's like it's always embarrassing. It, yeah. Like direct coworkers. It's especially with stand up too. <laughs> like yeah. you meet people many times and you hang Ugh. out with them and then you just don't know their name. Ugh. I I go. I it's it's a lot of hey, good to see you. But yeah. I think it's coming back to bite because some people go like. Hey, good to see you. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I don't know you, and I definitely know them. Yeah. And then sometimes I actually don't, and they're they're lying to try and get in the belly room. You know, you know what's a fun move is when people introduce themselves to you. Say, Yeah, we met a couple of days ago. 
or we met. Oh, last month. cool. Even if you didn't. Even and then they're didn't. like, no, we met years ago, and we've been talking like every month or so. And you're like, oh yeah, no. Uh, they're all getting the thanks, bud. You know, they're all yeah. getting that response. I did a show cool. at the um, Belly Room Live, like uh, fr- our Friday development show yeah. the other day, and I was working, so I I went up right before my spot, and I could hear everyone in the green room, and they're like. Because I was about to go up, mm. they're like, "Who's jet ski?" And then they all started <laughs> laughing. <laughs> they're like, "What a dumb day!" Like, ah. <laughs> Point them out so that we'll jet kick jet them all out. Yeah, who was it? Who the fuck I'm not was gonna it? Tell you. No, it's gang shit now, jet ski. I'll tell you later. <laughs> I don't want to. Give me initials. Give I don't initials. want it to be any worse. It's the same lineups every week. So if you give me initials, I'll be able to figure it out. I'm a detective. I can't because they, they have a rotating monthly of like Friday. I think it's every three weeks. I will okay. tell you though. She what happened when Pilot comes back. Look. I don't really care, <laughs> but it was just a funny like uh, the man, timing woman. of it. Man, <laughs> now we're getting. Look at this guy, detective man. over here. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> there we go. Fucking. I see your fucking skills. I'm gonna give you a magnifying glass. You can just use around. <laughs> I, yes. I know you would. I think Matt's, you'd be. You'd be like, what is this? Matt's detective <laughs> skills are just thinking of all the comics and playing guess who in his head. Someone has a phone. Someone has. <laughs> were a phone they wearing out. glasses? Were they wearing glasses? <laughs> Matt Lockwood Holmes, dude. <laughs> Guess who was Sherlock Wood Holmes? Sherlock hey, Holmes. Hey, yeah. I like that Holmes. a lot. That's I was really trying to connect good. it, but good connection. Hey, yeah. I, I read. I don't. <laughs> I read in my imagination. I read. I I'm read unique too. that way. I read too. That uh, I read. I read. Too. I read too. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> I didn't know what to call her. I didn't know what uh, race she is. Irene. Irene too. <laughs> <laughs> Me, myself, and Irene also. Yeah. Irene um, also. That's Irene also is good. Yeah. I kind of feel bad about what we just did. What else is on there? Uh, 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 uh the don't be that guy of the week. Um, I I was gonna. Is have, this new? Yes. Okay. I was Ooh. gonna have uh uh you go. D B T G O T W. O T W. Yeah, you have the O T W stored in the thing. Yeah, he well he has the letters thing. Oh, yeah. you uh, know he's the, a learned I, man. I have L T, I'm L M. You know the podcast is going great when Luke's introducing Segme. <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to be entertaining it's working. in a professional way and I, I don't know. I don't know. Is that a real chain? Yes. How much? Grandmother oh. bequeathed. <laughs> That's how you get changed. You, said that about your you get bequeathed. She bequeathed. That's when they're. Oh, that's when they're, It's like a pussy fart. Nah, bequeathed. It's. It's, it's not dissimilar. Grandma bequeathing. <laughs> Grandma bequeathing my necklace. Uh, then it just went right around his neck. Oh, that that one got me. Dude, one time. <laughs> well, you know, there goes that segment. I guess I just derailed by. No, we Matt come back. We'll noticing c- something we'll come back that to I'm it. wearing. My aunt is a very large woman. If you catch my drift. Stop mm. doing that with your hands. Yeah, it's it's not you're not speaking in code. Oh, one Go on. time. Yeah. Okay. This woman She's AKA shaped like a wall? my aunt. She was giving us hugs goodbye and she was giving a hug to my cousin who was sitting next to me and one of her breasts <laughs> wrapped around the top of my <laughs> down to here. Okay. She be queen. Down to your here. eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. I just sat in that for a moment. Hmm. How old? Was she and you? Oh, she must have been in her 30s, 40s. Whoa. Yeah. I must have been in my 10s. Do you think that's why you're such a womanizer now? Yeah. Once you get a taste of that ant titty. <laughs> when you wear it like a chain, like how he's wearing his. <laughs> my oh my. <laughs> if you had to have sex with one family member. <laughs> okay. The farthest you can go is first cousin, aunt, uncle, or yeah. inner family if you want. Sure. Grandma, grandpa, sure. Who? I'd fuck you because you're my brother, door guy. Aww. Yeah. Come on, bro. That's my answer too. <laughs> okay, Brothers, g- good answer. Brothers for life. <laughs> yeah. What uh, about you guys? My boyfriend is my family. <laughs> yeah, I technically have a wife. She's my family. Wife counts. Boyfriend doesn't. Well, I don't want to answer. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> that, that is also acceptable. We're not going to push also it acceptable. any fu- no, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have a cousin that's pretty hot, and my age. Yeah, and she has a kid. Renee brought his hot cousin around. Recently, that was that, that was uh, fun for a while to go. What do you think, family member or or girl that he brought around? And we all like we made guesses, and I was wrong. For as shitty of a fucking person as Renee is, <laughs> some of the girls he brings around is like, damn, she's cute. Yeah, he went to a. Yeah, I mean, I'm not party. talking family members even regular. <laughs> he I mean, they're usually emotionally disturbed, but. He went to a Halloween party and showed me the picture of his date, and she was really hot. And he, he was like, "He was like, yeah, I was all right." 
<laughs> we went to this party. Wait, like, this Halloween party? Yeah. Do you know about it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I got, you, got, you, got, you, got you. I had sex with that girl at the end of the night. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh You're just saying she, mean she, shit now. She sent Renee home so I could have sex. Jeez, with her. that's Christ. that's why he didn't have fun. Uh, You're a gossipy gal. I just want to say, it's don't make that the clip. Now. But just so you know, there is a clip coming up that is so good we couldn't put it on like the promo. But that would have been the clip, so you should listen to this episode. Um, <laughs> is that true, true? Yeah. Okay. Because he was like, okay, was we're like, bringing it back to the your... segment. No, I'm taking <laughs> he's, control. He's back again. at her apartment, right? Oh and, my god! And, no, and I'm no. texting her. <laughs> and I, have, I, 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 I'm trying to control it, but I can't. All right, sorry. Okay. Hide your wives. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't his girlfriend though. It's a girl I've had sex with before. Oh, so he stole her from you? No. Nice. Was never mine. Women are objects, and I respect them. Okay. We are whoever they decide we are. She she stole me from him on the seashore. Again, thirst cool. or water. All, only the cleanest, only the best, only the right. least recognizable brands here. Don't be that guy of the week. Mm-hmm. Uh, or girl. Yeah. Guy is good for both, though. Thank you. <laughs> I got a laugh from Tony. Laugh. <laughs> so, so maybe we're changing. <laughs> guy can be both, both though, right? The door they of the no, week. Guy uh, can no, be really. both what? Like, if you say, hey, guys, that's like everybody, right? Uh, ask Jeff Probst from Survivor premiering tonight. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know. Either, yeah. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, I was la- like, what is this? All right. On the last season of Survivor, because his catchphrase used to be, come on in, guys. And he said, should I stop saying that? And they were like, yeah. They hey, voted. Come in. on in, everybody. Now I try, I try says, and come say on everybody. In. Come on in. Come guy. on in. Guy. But I like guys as all engendering, I think. I like guys being all engendering as well. I think dudes is more all engendering. No, I don't. Women don't like when you call them dude. Yeah. Okay, well then I'm wrong. Or dog. <laughs> or Homie bitch is good, or cunt. <laughs> we hate that. Can I say that on here? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can you, fucking you speak can, for all women. You can pronounce okay. it. Who's uh, us? We're going to speak for them? I don't know. Never yeah, mind. let the bitch talk. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's so, we don't that's like so that. empowering of you. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> Fucking stand up for yourself, goddammit. <laughs> uh, Matt and I had people, actually, that we had the same interaction with. Well, like It was the uh, the people that came up yesterday who uh, were early for the show, in the right place, and came up and said, uh, we're here for the Belly Room show. And I said, okay, well, it's not open yet, but if you want to wait here or out front, we're going to make an announcement when it opens. And they were like, okay, so we can wait here or we can wait out front, and then you're going to make an announcement when it opens. And I said, yes. When it opens, we'll make an announcement and you can either wait here or you can be out front and then when it opens, we'll make an announcement. And they were like, uh, okay. This. And then they walked walked out front. I think there was one more. <laughs> there might have been. One more double checking. I think I said, and the bathrooms are inside if you need them. And they were like, okay. And I think they walked away and came back for the bathroom within mm. 30 seconds. Yeah. So just, um, I don't know. I'm not, just think a little. I, we're here to help. I will never be like, you know, they were like genuinely just like trying to have information yeah. or something. But that was that was a tough. <laughs> there is also nothing more frustrating to me than looking. There's, a, you know, let's say we're seating a group of four, which is the biggest party we seat. I look them in the eyes and I say, two drink minimum. Please don't talk. Please don't text. No phone use. The bathroom, if you need it during the show, yes. is underneath the neon exit sign in the back of the room. Yeah. Some people, I will walk to their tables, and as soon as I show them their table, will say, where's the bathroom? Uh-huh. You didn't hear a word I just fucking said? I, was, I look people in the eyes when I spiel them. I yeah. look them in the eyes. Oh, I like, I like spieling, and then I go, uh, I, I'll, I'll seat them at the table. When I seat, I point to the bathroom again. And I still get questions. I go, what do you mean? Also, yeah. you have eyes. <laughs> Look around with your but eyes. But the bathrooms are never in the front of the room. Yeah, but yeah. still, like, if, if look around. If you had to guess oh, where the bathroom was. Yeah. Yeah. Assume the back. Try. Don't come. Duh. I was going to. Oh. Yeah. Um, and, but I wish the store once. had no customers. <laughs> yeah. That's why I liked a lot. Yeah. That that could be a good part of it. I, you know, but a lot of people. Uh, we had a really good OR last night. I think there was, like, a lot of good. Original room. Uh, yeah. A lot of good vibes from people coming in. And you really. It's a. If you greet people with like like when we were working on saturday you had a friday that was crazy oh i, I hated the friday it was so i was like scared when i left your it was word so was crazy. chaotic 
And then we came in. Because there were two fights. Two... I'll, Guam will be on t- uh, on the next podcast, and he'll talk about the oh, fight shit. that he was in. Yeah, one guy came up to me, like, really in my face. And he's like, who was that first male comedian who went up? And I was at the podium, but he was on the other side of the podium, like, like really in my face. And yeah. then he goes, uh, he goes, I want to write a review, a negative review. <laughs> <laughs> that guy called me gay. Me, gay. <laughs> Like, like, how old are you? Like, wow. Ha, ha, ha. How original. I just want to fight him. <laughs> like, well, that yeah. guy's definitely gay, though. Right. Well, that's who wasn't that called him but gay? maybe he's, like, and really he, not. He's just stupid. I don't know who called him that, but then he punched really hard, and I was just, like, I just stared at him. And then because I gave him no reaction, I guess, he just, like, slowly walked away. <laughs> that's a great reaction. Throw that guy out. And then Did he leave? He, well, he walked towards the patio, oh. and then Anthony was <laughs> off the clock, one of our security, but he was standing next to me, and he was like, I just want to make sure nothing happened there, and I was like, it's fine. That guy's definitely gay. <laughs> 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 but like, there was just a lot of stuff like that happening all night. Ugh. Yeah, you get some goofy nights here for sure. And you can tell when people have like a glint in their eye or something. There's some there's some mad pe- like madmen that come in for like that like kind of are in trouble all the time wherever they go. Yeah. yeah. Like every restaurant they go is a nightmare and I just I like I see them and like that's the eye contact during the spiel where I'm like phones on silent, okay? No talking at the table. We're all going to have fun tonight. And I try and make it really he calm. Killed you try to Jedi Saturday. mind trick them? Yeah. I told him Saturday how I was like, I hated that night. And he goes, this is going to be calm Saturday. Calm, chill Saturday. Love it. And you, you cut you. And the crowd was good. And I went with a lot of Brody positivity, push belief. Yeah. And I just, yeah. and I made the night, like, I think I, I tried to make it easier. It was good. It was good. It was how great. Did, how do you two approach, like, someone, like, taking a picture of a phone in the middle of a show or someone trying to sneak that in? Because I've done it both times. I've. Swap phones out of hands. <gasps> Whoa, I'm, I've never done that. I've, yeah, I've, sw- I've swapped someone's I cover, phone I cover out of hands. I block it oh, and like block it immediately. No, no, no. Make out of their the fucking room. hand. I go, hey, <laughs> I go, I go, <laughs> delete it. Delete it next time you're kicked out. Yeah. And uh, due to recent events, I stopped caring. <laughs> <laughs> I let them record. I helped them take pictures. <laughs> they asked us to be minimum wage employees, so I will be a minimum Bad. wage employee. One time Come this on. girl was a- You can't help it, though. You're still good at your job. You yeah, really you're really good. This girl took a picture and I told her you got to delete it and I had to see her I have to see her recently delete it as well and she's like really and and it just came out of me I was like yeah I could get fired for this <laughs> <laughs> you made her check her she's garbage like, oh my bin god too? I didn't know it was so serious yeah. and she did it <laughs> good for you it's I, nice to flex every once in a while and be like no I'm the employee yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean I, I have did a manager. the first like three years I was here I was very anxious and like. You know, I wanted to get in fights with customers, and you were a little more high strung. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, as a veteran, what do you? What would now you I say to us? Sit back rookie, and let you young guns, do rookie it. cops, <laughs> <laughs> a fucking. I mean, some of you guys go after people. I like to watch yeah. it. Oh, poor AJ now, got the short end of the new guy's stick a couple times recently. He had to clean up, throw up, and then he had to like work a shift that like well, an extra. Gonna be forty five minutes late to work. Oh yeah, day. that's true. He, I remember that he was forty. <laughs> like, it's like yeah, you're, Matt, you're Matt's, getting the bad shit. Matt's the one who's been throwing up in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 AJ, <teach> you. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> oh, 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 you feel so bad after it's so bad for you. Don't brush your teeth. <laughs> you turn up your yeah, bulimic now. Sucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not great. Sometimes I get sore in my shoulders after a night of mm, ralphing. <laughs> wow. I'd rather not do it. I like it. <laughs> so I do. A freak. Okay. You really like, do? If you cuz you go from like I feel like shit to like it's all gone. Oh, just, the, re- yeah, the relief the throw ups are good. It's the best. That's the I, That I, in the morning I think throwing up is good. The nighttime <laughs> throw ups are bad. Yeah. But no, sometimes you'll throw up and you go, "Oh, round 2," you know? Sure, if you're a fucking crazy guy. <laughs> if okay. you're a you know, gambling addict. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You like, want to push Crippling. it as far as it goes. <laughs> do you ever make yourself throw up? Mm-mm. I do a lot. Yeah. A, lot. a lot. Yeah. 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 No. More than just regular throwing up. Wait, you already talked about that in your therapy podcast. <laughs> <laughs> therapy podcast. Oh, you might be believing therapy. it, Matt. <laughs> it's been fun back, though. I've, uh, I mean, but I've had to tell the bar a bunch of times these past weeks to be quiet. The bar, like, just from talking. Yeah. When it's Merv and Dana in the back. Oh, well, it I is never tough. have told them to be quiet, but I can hear them sometimes no, from the whole other side yeah. of the main room. Yeah. It's, <laughs> just, it's especially been tough recently because the comics are bad. Yeah. And so there's not a lot of uh, laughter in the room. Andrew Santino was talking with his friends in the hallway pretty loud, and one of the servers said their customers complained, can we go talk to them? And I think he said... Uh, 
well, would it be a problem if they were killing over? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, that's every true. comics like issue, but then they all complain when they're on, st- you know, and they yep. hear it in the back of the room too. Yep. Yeah, they did move and everything, but it, I think it was just a joke. I understand whispering in the back of the room also, but there are some comics who have just like full blown, like paid regulars, like a full blown yep. conversation really loud in yep. the back where I'm like, don't, hey, hey, don't, hey, don't. Yeah, love you, bro. Don't do this. Be quiet. Yeah. It also used to be when this place was a kraken. Is that yeah? That's a phrase. It used to be like the hardest job to clear that back hallway. Mm. I hate doing that. Yeah, it used to be like really I, hard. All you gotta do is you gotta lead. You gotta go. Hey guys, it's loud in the room. Can you please just? I'm sorry, just out that way. And if you but just it, say it's loud in the room, please. I can do it. But I have to do it all night. My issue yeah. is if it's I so lead with, if I lead with that and they don't respond, I become get then if, I get mad. Well, then you're allowed to get mad. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not too mad. Sometimes when customers Just mad are, enough. When right. customers are talking and I'm like, hey, can you guys keep it down? It's kind of loud. I feel like it does the opposite. So I think now I will just be like, um, hey, you guys could talk louder if you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, Did Matt teach you that? I feel like Matt taught you that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the reverse psychology. Matt, Matt taught you that. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so interesting to yeah because try that when, tactic. At, when I go, <laughs> could you guys keep it down? They're like, <gasps> what? <laughs> the, Make it feel like a dickhead. The, like the look you get from attractive women when you ask them to be quiet, you it's the it same too? from every single fucking one. I thought it was just me. No, it's everybody. No. Oh, my and God. That, and what I do is I, because they always look back. They always try, they always look at you as much as possible to yeah. make sure you're still I watching. I stare them down. I do, too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't take my fucking eyes off of That's them. Oh, I, oh no, I'm throw, like, uh, I look right at them. I go, <laughs> you're in the wrong. <laughs> yeah. You've got. <laughs> you mouth those words. I, I go. <laughs> sometimes I'll go, yeah. Yes. I grab my nuts. <laughs> and, and stick out your tongue. Yeah. What's up, bitch? Cool. <laughs> I fucking went hotter than you. Bitch. <laughs> oh, can I tell my belly room story from a couple weeks ago? Yeah. I would love that. Please. So, uh, door Not guy. Not when your mommy's here. Door guy show. No, I miss my mommy. Yeah. That's okay. She'll be back. I don't know. Is a little kiss for your mommy? To Austin. I, uh... <laughs> is he going to be on the pod soon? I uh, was talking yes. about. Uh, <laughs> I've tried not to think about okay. it. Like, or bring it yeah. Um, I saw so a belly room door guy show. Mm. I'm going up last. Mm-hmm. End of the night, mm. long night. Mm. My friend is there. My friend is mm. this uh, very good, uh, very attractive young lady. She's sitting in the balcony. Cool. She, her laugh is very obnoxious. She has an obnoxious laugh. Maybe you've met her. She laughs very. She laughs like SpongeBob. And this is not. This is not some our coworker. No. Okay. No, this is a a a person you know. A friend. Yeah. She's sitting by these two other girls that she doesn't know. Great. Random customers. Sure. Young twenty somethings. Uh, Mid level attractive. Okay. Okay. Why does it matter? Oh, I'll tell you why. Okay, to the okay. story. No, it, it is important to the story. Oh, okay. Okay. So they're they're chit chatting throughout the show. I'm sitting by I'm sitting next to my friend watching the show. Mm-hmm. They're chit chatting. They're being loud. Okay, people are upset. I see the crowd looking at them. They're upset. Uh, my friend turns over and goes, "Hey, do you guys mind being quiet? We're trying to watch the show." And this this bitch <laughs> turns to my friend and goes, "Well, your laugh is annoying. So why don't you shut up?" Okay, I hear it. I hear it. I didn't say anything. I heard it because I'm up in a minute. Okay, so I said, "All right." My friend doesn't. My friend like gets embarrassed, doesn't say anything, looks back at the show, doesn't, uh, doesn't stand up for his all. Uh, so then, I, yeah. so then they call me on stage, right? I go up, and I'm doing my bit. I'm getting the crowd on my side. I'm killing on purpose. <laughs> and then I start. And then I, I, I have this joke about white women. It's very funny. And, uh, and then I go, um, I point, I point these two girls out, and I say like these two fucking bitches. And everyone's like, whoa. I was like, they won't shut up during the show. And these girls are like, what the hell are you talking about? I go, yeah, you guys want to know what just happened up there a minute ago? And I tell the crowd the yeah. story. Awesome. And the crowd the crowd starts going wild, and I'm just fucking attacking these girls. And these girls are all, like, defensive, like, what the, who the fuck are you? You can't say shit to us. You're yeah. just a fucking comedian at a free show, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you're sitting in the audience at a free show, dumbass. You have no right to talk either. Yeah. Talking to these girls, um, the, the, the crowd's going crazy, right? One of the, one of the most fun sets I've had the belly room. Then I turn to this girl. This is like the final straw. I was, I was heated. I was, you know, those moments when you're on stage, you could feel yourself like Shake it, a little yeah. turning red, a yeah, little yeah. like I gotta calm down because I, it's just yeah. word vomit at this yeah. point. And I, I, I took a breath and I look at her and I go, you know, you're not pretty enough to act like this. Mm. She shut up. I was like, mm. but those moments <laughs> of po- those moments of power we have on stage. 
That's the I, best part about stand up. Well, yeah, when you're like making justice happen. Yes. Yeah. That's, you're allowed to be sexist I'm, when there's justice. I'm sitting I'm sitting I'm sitting so, in the rafters yeah. and I, I I'm when not even supposed to hear the conversation. When someone's being mean and you could set it right with jokes, like yeah. I think that's cool. That night the entire audience came up to me and said, That was so fun. The entire I'm glad you did that. Every single person. Every single there. even literally the, every single person. Even they the, can ask Guam. The, he was there were not a lot and they all went up to him. Even every the, single one. even the girls? No. Okay. Oh, well, you, you said, said no. They, no. So then, okay, so then I'm, right. so then I'm standing in the room. If you right? want them over yeah, too, yeah, that'd be yeah, huge. Yeah. So I'm done. The show's over. I'm standing in the room. The audience. We were wrong. We understand. What we did wrong. <laughs> we're apologize. The first audience members to ever get it. No, that'd they be wouldn't. Incredible. No. no. Uh, so I'm standing in the room. The show's over. All the lights are on. I'm standing in the room. The audience is all like f- in a file line to come and say good job to me. Like a soccer, like, like a kid. Soccer kind game. of. Yeah. Like, good kind game, of. Good game. Good game. The two girls stay in their seats. Ooh. They didn't leave. They didn't say anything. They just sat there. Probably wet their pants. Yeah, maybe. Whoa. <laughs> That's what you do if you wet your pants. You're embarrassed to get out. I've been there. So. Yeah, maybe they peed their pants. <laughs> so they couldn't get up in front of everybody. And then, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but like this riff, sorry, come on. Sorry. We have like we have to clock in in eight minutes. I want to get. Through. Oh, oh we don't. I we don't. We really don't. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we do because we're minimum wage. We need all the wage. True. I yeah. clock in when I got here. So unless you want to sponsor <laughs> the pod and like drop some tip uh, tips in the bucket, we will. Right, <laughs> Thurster. Thurster. Right. Yeah, we'll we'll give you a Thurster to send you on your way. Did um, they get up? Uh, yeah. So what happened with the women sitting in the balcony? So I went. I go to the patio with my friend. She thinks I'm a fucking hero. <laughs> Slob on my knob. Um, just kidding. We're, we just sat on the patio for a while talking, and I waited to try to see them leave, and I never saw them leave. They must have snuck out. Maybe they're wow. still here. Yeah. Maybe they. Yeah. Maybe they died and they haunt the place now. Ghost of the belly room? I hope not, because they sucked ass. They're awful people. Miserable people. How rude. Like, have you guys ever been told to please keep it down? Yes. Yeah. And how do you react to it? Oh, I go, oh, I'm sorry. Depends on how drunk I am. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> true. true. That's true. And a lot of people here are really drunk. Yeah. So maybe that's part of it. But, but also, like, you have to understand you're at a comedy show. This thing depends on you. Like, it's this yeah. isn't a place to talk. People think... Like people that have birthday parties here and bachelor parties and stuff, mm-hmm. it's like this isn't the, that. No, no this is not the we place should for we that. should not promote that. Like it's it's incorrect. It's a it's a an idea. It's not a good idea. But like I understand why you would think of that. Yes. But like you're unfor- unfortunately you're wrong. We should not seat parties bigger than two. <laughs> uh, parties of four is fine. <laughs> four if they're a family. There's been a lot of parties. Four if it's three. parents and kids. You're not good with a super group of people coming no. to watch. comedy? It's not good for comedy. It's, we did it's have not like, conducive to comedy. We had a group of. Uh, like 13 or 14 last night that was Bam. That, that told us they were nine people and then they had more mm. so yeah question uh, for tough. you guys really quick yeah about and then working, we gotta wrap up about yes. working here yes. we get so many parties of three every time i work mm-hmm. now and our our tables are four so it's always awkward to seat somebody with them mm-hmm. what do you guys that think is about my that? favorite part of seating the is the ones? game Oh, the Tetris of fitting it yeah. exactly right I, uh, it's easier now than it used to be it used to be i look for skinny solo faster dudes. yeah I like the weirdos that just sit with the party, just see yeah, yeah. some fucking That's what psycho I do. next I to I like a... when the party of three is rude. Because <laughs> I go, you don't understand the power I have. Yeah. A smelly man Here's or a woman. a smelly man. <laughs> will oh, walk yeah. through these doors and I will squeeze them into that seat. Oh, yeah. Because smelly men are betas. Yeah. Yeah. And they or... won't say I want to sit somewhere else. Yeah. Oh. If they, yeah, if they're confident, they put on some. Yeah, they're the older bullies. Yeah. Yeah. I think listening to authority is an alpha move. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool hey stay stay off drugs in school um that uh, that's been uh the doorcast this week uh really good stuff we're gonna go opposite uh jesse promote your socials and anything else you want to do at jetski johnson great uh, so at soul comedy and i got uh, another instagram show uh, at punching up show that i do with, with steve fury. fury punching up is very funny yeah. yes Fun show. watch there it you go mr matt Follow me, Matt Daddy Lockwood, on Instagram. Delete your Twitter. It's a cesspool. It's bad for your mental health. Uh, <laughs> Big Humble podcast available everywhere. Big Humble, very funny. Very very funny. Went viral on TikTok today again. Nice. Hey, great. We are good. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, <laughs> I'm at Luke Does Stuff on Twitter. Uh, I'll only be on Twitter. Instagram is not very good or fun, and I don't like it as much. I watch Sports Center, and that's it. Sports uh, Center. Yeah, I watch highlights of stuff and skateboarding videos, and that's that's my Instagram. You should watch. You know, you should watch on Instagram. Punching up. Oh yeah, that's true. I and I, I watch. I watch that. Obviously, I love that show. 
Uh, I support every every venture all my friends Punching do. up, they take videos of street fights and commentate on them. Yes. As comedians. It's very it's funny. Fun uh, Check out me and Luke's new show, Encyclopedia Brown. Yes. <laughs> on the CW. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sherlock with Holmes. And, uh, Sherlock with Holmes. Uh, 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 every Wednesday, free show in the belly room. If you come, mention yeah. the Doorcast and tip a little. You get a shout out. And uh, that's been the pod. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. <laughs>